Good morning and wind today, children of God. We enter to worship you holy. We enter to honor you. Yes, we enter to the Holy of the Holies. Holy Spirit, protect your children. Thank you, Jesus, because you have protected them. Continue to protect them further. Father, we love you this morning. Father, we adore you. Father, as we do this program, Father, we please you only, Lord. No matter, Lord, if we are two or three, you said when we are two or three, you are the third one. It is powerful that having a field of people, field that is full of people, an open space that is full of crowd, crowd and crowd or a stadium. Father, we appreciate being three in your eyes because you are the third. And everything starts small. We thank you, Ebenezer, for loving us. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for protection of the night, even though you are children, it was rough. Others of your children, some of them, it was very rough. But you alone, Lord, you have given them strength to overcome. Here we are, line of trouble of Judah, as we start the day and read the way. Be with us, Holy Father. We welcome you, come and take control. We welcome you, Ebenezer. We welcome you, you walk on the top of the water. Who would train us about faith? You are God. You never sleep no slumber. You are still God and you are still Jesus. You are sitting on the right hand of your father. Monitoring our ways. Monitoring what we eat, what we talk. Monitoring what we do. Because you don't want us to fall into temptation. We welcome you, Spirit of the living God. Come and take control, Holy Father. Come and lead us the I am that I am. Come the lion of tribe of Judah. And run, break those chains of suffering and challenges that the children of God are facing every day. Strengthen us, O Holy Father. When we read our word, to become strong in you, Lord. Be strong in your Lord. Your Lord. Only you, Lord. Father, come and have mercy and direct us. We love you, Lord. We love you, Ebenezer, a lion of the tribe of Judah. You are so good, Holy One. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Ebenezer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are sitting freely. We are awake, walking freely. We are not hospitalizing. We are breathing freely. Thank you, Jesus, for the life. We adore you. Amen. We welcome you. I welcome you, children of God. You are still the children of God. You are still loved by him. He never forsake you. Do not lose hope. Do not lose hope. Have patience, 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 patience to wait for him. Wait upon the Lord. Have patience for the God who want the Lord, for the God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus. They want people with patience so that they can operate and work in us, so that they can lift us high and give us our heart desire. They need patience. The things of the Spirit need patience. The thing of the worldly need urgent matters, urgent, hurry, to be hurry in everything. No, it's the opposite. Because we are unique, me and you, we have to continue to wait upon him, to pray for patience and have faith and trust upon the Lord and believe in Jesus that he exists, then the rest will follow. You are welcome. Good morning, child of God. May God bless you. Good morning and win forever and ever. The Lord is still with you. The Lord is still operating in his throne, blessing you, protecting you. Lord bless you with life. That is very important to him. With life. To give you life, to protect you with the Holy Spirit. That is the Lord's first priority. The Lord's first, first priority is not finances. It's not riches. The riches are in heaven, remember. He bless you with life, prosperity, and protection. That the evil one, the enemy, Satan, cannot kill you. 
cannot distract you, cannot destroy you. Because he will revive you. Because you will be delivered. Through his name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Children of God, let's hang in there and wait upon him and pray in our heart for patience, calmness and to wait upon him, to trust him, to believe that he can heal and deliver. And his finger is upon us and his hand, mighty hand. And the hand of the Holy Spirit of the truth, our God, the long arm that created heaven and earth is still upon us. We are highly favored. We are highly protected. Take courage and heart and strong in the faith. Be strong and be courageous. And say, I wait upon you, Lord. I'm your child, Lord. When I'm weak, become strong for me. When they press me down, want to kill me. Oh, Lord, arise, son of David, and fight for me. Then he will hear you. He is your father. Our scripture reading is in the book of Mark. Mark 4, from verse 35. Verse 41, it read this. That day when the evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. It's our Jesus. He's telling his disciples. The evening was drawing closer. And then he said, let's go to the other side, meaning the other side of the sea. They have to cross over. He reshut <laughs> Very deep. They have to cross over. The dark has come. It's drawn closer. Let's cross over to the other side. Which means for the God. When it's night. When we're sleeping. He cross over. Because dark contains arrows. Dark contains Satan and his agent. Darkness, when it's dark, Satan rejoices because it's dark, because it's demons, because it's evil, because it's a spirit, because he operates in the dark. Shatakalish. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Daddy. Leaving the crowd behind. The crowd that was following him for deliverance. And remember, child of God, everywhere where Father God, Jesus, because why I say for the God, if you read deep in the spirit, Jesus Christ, I think is God. When you go deep in the spirit of the book of Matthew, Luke and Mark, and what book, mostly book of John, where it starts, I think God is Jesus. Shake it. Then he said, <laughs> It's what I'm thinking of what I was speaking now in the book in the garden of Eve. Because when Jesus came, they said he was the one who was there before. But the one who was there before is God. I get it. That's why now I think me now, according to my understanding and knowledge, me as Ruth, I think that Jesus Christ is for the God. Mm-hmm. He was, whenever he deliver, the crowd follow him. That's why where, if you check earlier, he has to feed them, those 5,000. Because everyone is blessed and healed. Leprosy, whatever, crippled and what. They all follow him. Jesus, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, the King of the King. He leaves the, the large crowd behind. Took him along. They took, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. There was, there were also other boats with him. When children of God, sometimes I read, and you know that I can't read well. Bear with me. It's when the anointing is too much. Sometimes I control and hold it. It's, all, it's always happening, especially when I'm in the spirit because I was busy with prayers for long now, for a few times. So now, like since I wake up, so now when I'm like that, <laughs> I will see always the things not well. And the eyes will see. And spiritually, I'm somewhere. Pardon me, children of God. They took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other bo boats 
with him. A furious quail. Sorry, a furious quail. Or squall came up, meaning a thunderstorm or a big wind. Yes. Let me say big wind. Big wind or storm. Came up. And the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Who operate in dark? Satan. And Father God knew that it will come. Because yeah, he was also strengthening our faith that even in the darkness, we cannot lose hope. Our faith must be strong even in darkness. Our faith must be more strong even in the wind. A wind is a challenge. All the disciples thought that they would drown. For the God is threatening us to know that in those wind, those challenges, he's still God. The waves were bro broke over uh, the boat broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Nearly swamped to the deep, deep, and they would be drowned, obviously. Jesus was in the, in the stand, sleeping on a cushion, nicely, peacefully sleeping. The disciples woke him and said to him, <coughs> They woke him, Bo Peter, Bo John, the rock, Cephas. I get John is Cephas. That is the name that Father God gave him. Cephas, meaning the rock. Sorry, Peter. Sorry, Peter. Cephas. Peter is Cephas. They were there. Now they ran to him. Teacher. Don't you care if we drown? Listen to this. Listen to this child of God. I want to give you now a wisdom. Open your eyes. The storm want to make them drown, to swamp them inside the lake or the sea. Now what did they do? They don't pray. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Father God want to tell us here that when they want you feel that you are drowned, like the book of Psalm 18 states, when David felt that he was drowning, he did what? He called to God in a great prayer. What did Father God did? Because so protective over his children, he ride on the cherub because the cherubim ran faster. Because of his anger, they say the nose come the fire, the mouth spitting the coal of fire and the hailstone. He was angered to who? To the one who was drowning David because of challenges. Those drown was not ordinary drown like water. It was a challenge that David was facing. But what did David did? He called to Father Jesus. Then he came riding for the God on Churub to go and help him. So look at the disciples of God. That's why I say there's no one who's good on earth. The good one is in heaven. There's no one who's perfect on earth. The perfect one, perfect one is in heaven. Our duty is to pray. To Father, perfect me. What they do now, the disciples. Hmm? Disciples. Those can heal also. They don't pray. To say, let leave him. Rest in peace because he doesn't sleep. Remember, Jesus Christ didn't have a shelter. He slept on the boat at night. Slept on the mountain. He didn't have a home. A home was only his temple, the synagogue. Capernaum, where he went there to go and preach every day. Instead, the disciple to say, no, let's leave him to pray and start. Oh, for the God. The God of Abraham, the God of Papa Isaac, the God of Moses. He has a God of Elijah that answered by fire. Come down. We are drowning. Have mercy on us. The storm should have stopped. Mm -hmm. I want to teach you that when you read the word, listen to the Holy Spirit giving you wisdom. 
When they did that, the challenge that they were facing, it's supposed to have went away and subside. You know why? God listened to the broken heart. The book of Psalm 18. God listened to those who pray and have faith and believe. Then he will answer them immediately. But instead, they go, wake up. You don't care when we drown. And why did Father God, our Jesus, said it? He got up and said to the waves, Hey, be quiet, Wena. Be still. Just like that. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. In every challenge, child of God, stand up when you are weak, sit on your bed, put earphones. Worship after worship song and said it. Listen, Satan, and all your agent, all your snakes. You operate from northwest to south. You operate on the air. I might be weak. My Jesus is strong for me. Take all your load and your darkness and leave me and my family. If you repeat it seven times, seven stand for perfection. You will see what it will happen. Resist him. He will flee. Hence, it's written in this book of law. You are blessed, child of God, for listening. He just said, be quiet when, be still, you evil. Why? Why it broke off when they are sleeping? He let Satan take over his wickedness. Satan operate with all the wind. In every wind wheel or something, you'll see the snake of Satan is there inside because he's Satan. So his aim was, oh, let me drown them all because uh, Jesus is disturbing me. He wanted to, to take the faith of the disciples. But Father God, teach them. Let's tap on that wisdom. Tap in the wisdom that Father God gave it to them. That's why he was furious and said what? To his disciples. Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Uh huh. He was telling them because instead of praying, when he prayed, Jesus Christ is not sleeping. He was just resting. He should have heard them and become impressed as all oh, they are praying. Let me help them. Storm, keep quiet. And then they should be waking up and say, Hey, Master, you know, hey, Rabbi, when you were sleeping, hey, the storm was like this, we prayed. And then he should have answered them and said, Because I pray with you, I was listening. And then I've assisted them. Jesus Christ and God want people that he can help. That when you call unto him, he will help you to overcome so that in their names can be glorified. Thank you. The last verse. They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Hmm? Remember, it took time to believe, to have faith, or to believe that Jesus is indeed Jesus. Remember, their brothers are there. His brothers are there. They were part of the disciples. Hmm? Their brothers were there. When he chose them, I think it's the book of Matthew 4 or 5. Let me check. Mm -mm. It's Matthew 8. Uh -uh. Children of God. I'll check it for you now. Matthew 10. Matthew 10. Mm. Matthew 10 where he chose his disciples. There were the names of the 12 apostles. First was Simon Peter. Simon, who was called Peter. And his brother Andrew James. Andrew, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip and Patalumi. So his brothers, it's my sister, it's Julia now. It's my sister, it's Audrey, it's Louisa, it's all of you, my children, Virginia. And then, you know me, you saw me growing up with you when I was born. And then all of a sudden, you saw me doing miracles. 
you'll still ask question A. Is really still the one that we're waiting for, the Messiah? Is he still the God that are speaking about him, talking all over that he will come, he will die for us? So they were still having that little uh, faith, that faith to say maybe it's not him. Maybe it's him. I think it's him. Why his power is so big? I think it's him. So that's why they say, who is this one? Who, even the storm, can listen to him? Read it, children of God, attentively and slowly. And slowly and attentively. The book of Mark. Mark 4. Verse 35 to 41. May God bless you. Why do you read? We read what? How attentively, slowly, and repeatedly. And God will continue to bless you. People of grace. People of God. Do not ask yourself and say now it is the time of fasting, she kept quiet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm losing, uh, I'm making Satan and his agent, Ukraine, to lose their way, where they cannot know us, every movement, and how we operate. No. The first thing will come. The first thing will come. The fasting will come. Their fasting will come, my people. And soon. And I will tell you next week. When is the fasting? When you pray every day from now, ask for the God to give you strength to fast. That's what I'll ask you now. Ask for the God. To give you strength to fast. If you do that, soon fasting will come so that we can pray and overcome all his plans because we have to release every challenge and painful situation what we are coming across to Father God. And then he himself will take it over and then will hear us and come and release and give us freedom. And remember, as I said, prior, people of God, let's have patience. While praying, we cannot be in a hurry. Otherwise, we'll go to every man or woman of God and pray. Then we'll ask ourselves, why we went to whoever, when so-and-so give testimony, we follow, we register for prayer, for prayers to be prayed for, but our things are not changing. Let's continue to work inside our hearts. As I remind you always how I was a bully one, Fighting. You won't believe that Mama Ruth even fighting men, even mocking guys at school. Fight with guys. One day a guy hit me badly. It's where I stop all the nonsense. And I pray to God after that that God changed me. I know you chose me. I think now you have to do something because I'm nothing I can feel without you. The life that I'm living I don't like it. Then walk, God worked in me. And he heard my prayers. Because as a child of God, you are calling and you do all your other stuff, it doesn't correspond. Because if you are a prophet or you have a calling, people will ask, where does the name prophet she got it? Because it doesn't match with a character. Oh, people of God, let's keep on praying. And people of God, let's hear when Father God speak.
and people of God, let us leave everything unto him and learn the patience, to have patience and trust him so that he can do the rest because it's God. May God bless you. It is a daily devotion. We cannot do a daily devotion without prayers. And as I said, fasting is coming. And nobody will stop you from receiving. Let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Spirit, hear our children. Father, we need your deliverance and power belong to you, Lord. We are nothing without you. Deliverance and upon their lives. Deliverance and upon their destiny. Deliverance and upon their future. Deliverance and upon Father their, their Father their prosperity. Deliverance and upon their spirit. They are calling. Father, revive them. They are calling. Restore them. They are calling. Father, fill them, Lord, with the Holy Spirit. Baptize them, Lord, like the disciples, the apostles. When they were gathered according to the book of Acts, you have received, released, you have released and it has descended. The power and your authority and the spirit. And Father, that Holy Spirit descended and filled the place where they were praying. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they started to speak in tongues. Release, Lord, a spirit of tongue unto them, not from darkness, so that with the spirit of tongue from heaven, a heavenly language, they can confuse the enemy with their tongue, tongues. The tongue, the language of heaven, release unto them to confuse the enemy when they pray. To confuse the enemy and his agent. Father, touch them, O oh Lord. Bless them, O oh Lord. Redirect their path, O oh Lord. Where they walk, what they touch, O oh Lord. Remove the spirit of impatience. The spirit of destruction operating in the heart, O oh Lord. The spirit of Lord of doubt operating in the heart, O oh Lord. The spirit of fear, Lord, operating in the heart, Lord. The spirit of Father disappointment. The spirit, O oh Lord, O oh Father impatient, Lord, impatient. Impatient, Lord, impatient. Destroy it, Father God. It's all coming from the enemy, Satan. Those spirits whispering in thy ears, let it be broken. The Lord of the Lord will trust in you. Where is the God of Papa Elijah? That answer by fire. Release the fire into your children. Fire fill your children. Fire of the ghost fill your children. Fire of the ghost perfect your children. Fire of the ghost direct, direct, redirect you are children, their path that they took when they took the cross. Fire the ghost, redirect them. Fire the ghost, fill them. Fire the ghost, revive inside. All the ghost, fire come down. All the ghost, fire in the stomach. All the ghost, fire in the body flu system. All the ghost, fire restore. All the ghost, fire search and burn. All the ghost, fire burn all the content that are built in their bodies. All the ghost, fire break those content. All the Ghost fire flash every darkness inside and out. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Search and destroy Holy Ghost fire come down. Holy Ghost fire come down. Holy Ghost fire search and destroy. Search and bend the root. Holy Ghost fire uproot the evil pollution of darkness. Whatever they fed them at night. Holy Ghost burn all the content that Satan built in their bodies in order to connect with them. Holy Ghost destroy the convent and all the altars of Satan in the body flow system. Holy Ghost destroy and break satanic yokes in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Ghost descend and make a way in the mighty name of Jesus. Power of the Ghost fill them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Power that God sent and destroy, scan and bend it in the mighty name of Jesus. In the blood flu system, in the mighty name of Jesus. Power that God sent in the bones, bone marrow, and the tools, bone marrow, shoulders, bone marrow. Power that God bend the evil, evil poison of snakes. Evil deposit of the babies of snakes, spiders, scorpion. Power that goes destroy the wicked hand operating on the children of God. Power that goes, all goes, all goes, fire descend. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All goes, search and break the linkage of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, break all satanic, satanic linkages. The mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, search and destroy the houses and the offices. Holy Ghost, move. Holy Ghost, destroy darkness. Holy Ghost, expose and destroy. Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, descend and paralyze all darkness from the enemy coming from the north, west, and south. On the foundation, the gates, the street, the houses, the offices, the closet where the clothing are, the cars, Holy Ghost, descend upon the items. Holy Ghost, destroy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thing of God, release more fire and thunderbolt. Perfect your children. In the veins, the fluid, the blast in the south, the bone marrow, the tooth, the legs, and all over. Holy Ghost, fall down and destroy. Holy Ghost, scatter the plan of the enemy. Holy Ghost, paralyze the power of the enemy. Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, resurrect every dead bone, dead organs, kidneys, lungs. Resurrect every dead heart that is full of disease. Resurrect in the stomach. Holy Ghost, fire in the stomach. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, approach poison in Jesus' mighty name. You are free. You are healed. You are liberated. You are protected in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Ghost, fill them. Move. Where they sit, where they walk. Holy Ghost, fight for us to overcome darkness, to overcome enemy. Father, revive all our spirit, our soul. Revive, Father, our authority, our wisdom. In Jesus' mighty name, really remain blessed. You are a child of God. Let everything that is dead in you be revived. May God bless you. Shalom. I love you with the love of God. You are welcome and good morning and continue to win in every side. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name.